the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, please welcome your host, the one and only Big Blue Jabroni! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Big Blue Jabroni. Gonna do a quick video here for you. Uh, as anyone who knows who's following the channel, we are doing the Jabroni Pick'em Contest. Uh, I haven't really been keeping or been letting people know of the standings. So this is going to be a quick video to let you know who's in first, who's doing not so great. Well, you know what? We're just going to keep on my picks and then who's towards the top. I don't want to be calling people out. Uh, my, myself, I have nine wins total, uh, which is not all that bad great through five weeks when you're picking three teams a week. But that's where we're at. Um, some of the standouts that we've had so far, I'm going to just... Um, Giants Alliance is at double digits. He's got 10 wins. He had a little bit of a rough week last year, week. Um, OGR, another YouTuber, also at 10 wins right now. Uh, and then in our second, he those two people are tied for... Thir oh, no, I'm sorry. Sports Expert is also at 11, so he's at double digits. Uh, and Mike Nixon is also at double digits. But for our top three in third place so far is the sports expert he has 11 wins uh in second place the entertainer talking sports is at 12 points and by himself in first place with 13 wins is the hub uh these are all guys i've been on their channel i've worked with before in the past they're all really great jobs um the hub killing it right now with 13 wins he's had a couple perfect i think he started off the season nine and oh uh so yeah clearly if you want to follow his picks if you want to make some money um, but that was just going to be a quick update on that just because I haven't really been talking about it too much. Uh, but it's going to be more of like a recap video and preview into the next week. Uh, obviously, all of us Giants fans are quite upset with what went down last week. Uh, you have an 11-point lead in the first quarter. Their star quarterback goes down. Uh, and then we let Andy Dalton run down the field in the last minute to score. Uh, obviously, Daniel Jones not being able to put the ball in the end zone ever is starting to become a giant concern, like a big concern all around. The, uh, I still believe in Daniel Jones. I still do believe that he should be our quarterback in the future. I am quite worried that this team is going to end up in a position where we have a chance to take one of those top three quarterbacks. Uh, and with a new GM coming in, because I imagine we all kind of see the writing on the wall for Dave Gettleman. Um, that we're going to have a new GM and they're going to want to get their own quarterback in here and then maybe even want to move on to a new head coach. I do think Dave Gettleman, I've always had the belief where if you get the quarterback right and you get the head coach right, you get to keep your job. Uh, I do like Daniel Jones and I've on many occasions talked about how much I've really liked Joe Judge and what he's done with this coaching staff so far, uh, even though it hasn't translated to wins. Um, because usually when you get the coach and quarterback right, that does lead towards more victories and more wins. Um, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to just be able to lose every single week and everyone's going to be able to keep their job. It just doesn't work that way, uh, especially in a bigger market like New York. Um, I think people are starting to get tired of the trust the process, got to look at the film. Our guys are trying hard. We're playing hard. Uh, that's going to start wearing out thin really quick with this fan base when we've been so poor over the last couple of years. Um, I think the only way we're going to be able to keep Dave Gettleman or be able to try and sell that onto the fan base is they're really going to have to start playing uh, at a much higher level and they're really going to start winning some of these division games we have coming up. Uh, obviously, we've owned Washington over the last couple of years. Uh, it feels like ever since I've been watching them, uh, Washington's rolled off for two wins, but... They have a new head coach, Ron Rivera, who's had a ton of success around us. Uh, Andrew Thomas has been shaky, to say the least. Uh, we all have our bit of worries about him. He's going against Chase Young, the best uh, new pass rusher in the league. Um, they're trying to turn their franchise around as well. Obviously, Dwayne Haskins already on the bench. Ron Rivera is trying to mold this team into his vision. Uh, Keenan or Kyle Allen is going to be starting this week. Uh, he was the backup for Cam Newton in Para, uh, Carolina and played some games for them last year. So he's going to be a little bit more comfortable and aware of what Ron Rivera wants to do. Um, but this is going to be a big game for both of us, for the Giants and for Washington. Uh, they want to try and turn the narrative around for these teams and these losing franchises. These are the types of games that they're circling on their schedule. Um, I have picked the Giants to win every single week this year. I do have to admit that. 
Uh, but once again, I'm going to be going with the G-Men again this week. Uh, I don't think anyone on their offense is really that... Ex I, a lot of people like Scary Terry McLaurin out of... Uh, I believe he came, went out of Ohio State. Uh, I think he's okay. I think he's pretty good. But I just don't think Kyle Allen... Uh, and that offense is really going to have the opportunity to give him the best opportunities to make plays, especially with Bradbury playing so amazing this year so far. Imagine he's going to be locked up with him all week. Um, the run game starting to prove just a little bit. And every single week, this offensive line is starting to get a little bit better. I know that's hard to say when our quarterback's not throwing for touchdowns and the run game is still, I mean, it's improving. We all see that, but it's not like we're running the ball down teams' throats. Uh, but I do think that they are buying into this system. The defense is obviously playing really hard, uh, but these are the types of games where if we lose this week, it is all going to start to come down and crumble, and guys are going to start looking around the locker room uh, to see, like, what the heck are we doing around here, guys? Uh, but that's my prediction for the week. I do think the Giants get off the schneid here, and I think once we win a game, which is hopefully this week, we are all going to start to see this team kind of rally around and go, okay, this is, we are moving in the right direction uh we do have some talent here we do have some young talent uh dexter lawrence been playing well um darius slayton had a big game for us last week we're seeing more of caden smith or when we're using evan ingram we're using him in a little bit more creative ways he ended up with the touchdown last week should have had two uh obviously penalties were killing us last week um but and they have been better with penalties than they were under Schumer and especially under McAdoo. They do seem like a more disciplined team. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what your three picks are for the week. I'm going to be doing a pick video a little bit later. Uh, really tough games this week. Uh, usually when you're looking through it, there's one or two games you kind of know everyone's going to pick and you, when you're sorting it through it. But I think this week is going to be a really tough week for everybody. Uh, but we'll see how it goes out. Thanks again for checking out the video. Also, uh, just want to shout out to Pest. Uh, he said we're going to be on his channel soon. Uh, also going to be trying to work out some things to get on Kyle Pizzle's uh, channel anytime soon. Also, if any other YouTubers want to be on my channel or want me to be on yours, just let me know in the comment section and we'll get together and we'll make something happen. Uh, but thanks again for checking out the video. We'll see you again. And uh, the hub, I'm coming for you. We're going to have three picks this week. Jabroni out.